Hello guys and welcome back to Code and Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement header interceptors in your Flutter application for DU library. So in this application, we have three buttons, DU login, DU get auth data, and the clear auth. So when we click clear auth, it will clear everything. When we click DU login, it will get a token and save it locally. And when we click DU get auth data, this is a protected API with auth token and we'll get it. So we can't call the you get auth data without hitting the you login first. So in case we clear the auth and then we try to get auth data, it won't work. It will complain about missing token. So to make it work, we need to call the login, save the token, and then we can call get auth data and it will work. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Now let's get started. All right, to get started with the project, currently it has one screen with the three buttons and the first button has nothing, only bool result equal to true and if mounted, that shows a scaffold messenger. And the second button, also the same, but it has a string saying call the API and it also has a scaffold messenger to show. And the third one has nothing, only a command to clear auth. Now, before we get started, we need to go to pubspec.yaml and add two libraries. The first one is shared preferences and the second one is the U. All right. Now, inside the project, we have two directories. The first one is interceptors and the second one is services. And we will implement the services that we see fit. Now, first, let's start with the first service, which is store.dart. All right. Now, we will start by importing shared preferences library and we will create class store with its constructor and then we will create static constraint token key equal to token and the first method which is set method that takes token and it's async we will await preferences equal await shared preferences dot get instance and then await preferences dot set the string the token key that we created and the token that we got now the second method which might return nullable string, which is get token. Get token won't take anything, and it's also async. We'll define the preferences, and we'll only say return preferences that get the string with the token key that we created. And last method in this class, which is clear, we will just define the preferences, and we will say await preferences to clear, and that's it for this store. All right. Now since we are done with the store will create the interceptor the interceptor we will call it deo interceptor dot dart all right for the interceptor we will start by importing the libraries then we will create a class deo interceptor that extend interceptor and we will override the on request method that takes in request options along with request interceptor handler and it's async so first we need to grab the token so we will say final token which is equal to store dot the method we created get token now we need to check if the token is different from null and the token is not empty we will add to the headers options dot headers authorization which is equal to bearer and the token that we have now even if we don't have a token even if we don't have anything for the sake of this video i will add another option header which is content type and I will set it to application slash JSON. Now to get over with this method, we can say support.on request options and have the handler. And that's all what we need to do for the interceptor to make it work. All right, now let's add another service, which is api.dart. But before we start implementing the API, I want to show you the APIs that I'm using. So I'm using this website and this is the login API, which is API slash auth account slash login. And it takes body email and password and give us this response. We only care in this response about the token because we will grab the token and we will be authenticated while hitting the other endpoints. Now let's go back and start implementing the API. All right, to get this started with the API, we'll start by importing the of letter material, the interceptor that we created, along with the store that we created. And we'll create a class, we'll name it demo API that has final field Dio. And inside the constructor, we will initialize the Dio. Along with, we will add the interceptor to this Dio. So we will add the interceptor that we created. Now we'll create the login URL along with the data URL from the website that I showed you. Now we will have map string dynamic login data 
and we will define the email along with the password. Now, after it, we will start by imp implementing the first method, which is save token, which take map string dynamic data, and we will extract the token from the data, data and the token. And we will save this token inside the store set token, and we will pass the token that we took. Now, let me show you where we got the data and the token from. So inside the response of the API, login API, we have the data and inside the data, we have the token. Now we'll create another method. We will call it get result. This get result also take map string dynamic. We'll call it JSON and we will print it in the console as we printed before. And we will create a list dynamic of the data and we'll just return a string saying received list.length of objects. Now we'll create another method for login. So we'll call it the login and we'll say final response equal to await the post, the login URL and the data, the login data that we just created. And after it, we will check if the response code is 200. We will await save token to save the token with the response to data and return true. Otherwise, we will just return false. Now moving on, we will create another method called Dio get data and inside it we will have try and on the error catch e the error and inside the try we will create final response equal to the dot get and we will pass the data url and then we will check if the response code is 200 we would just say return get result with the response to data otherwise we will return response to data as a string or inside the catch we will return e dot response to data as a string or error occurred and that's it that's all what we need to do inside the api all right now the only thing left is to go back to the main and consume the api that we created so inside the main inside this home state we will create final do api equal to demo api and we will start consuming this api so in the first button the login button we will make it first final and then instead of true we will say await api dot do login and that's it for this button now the second button instead of the string called api we will say await api dot do get data oh sorry do get data instead of do login here and we can also make it final and finally in this button instead of this command we will say await store dot clear because we want to clear the store and that's it so now let's run the app and see if it is working or not. All right, the app is running. So now let's clear auth and try get auth data without login. You can see that it failed. It's complaining about the token. Now click login. It returned true. And now if we click there you get data, it will work. We will see that we got an object. Clear auth. Try to call it. It won't work because the token is missing. And that was all. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like it, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.